Welcome to EMC, manufacturer of AVIT, Advanced Electronic Vehicle Interface Technology. For over 25 years, the AVIT product line has and continues to be the most innovative and advanced driving control system in the automotive industry. AVIT is the only patented, commercially available, type certified drive-by-wire technology in the world today. Its unique value, quality, and safety over time is clearly evidenced by EMC having the largest distribution of dealers worldwide and repeat orders from over 99% of our customers. We hope you enjoyed this video as we share our exciting journey to becoming the worldwide leader in drive-by-wire vehicle control systems. In 1982, EMC's first generation product, DigiDrive, was conceptualized based on the fly-by-wire technology used in highly sophisticated aircraft. The idea being, the same controls that allow fighter pilots the ability to operate under extreme G-forces with limited strength and range of motion could also be applied to assist drivers with special needs. The challenge to manufacture an affordable, commercially available vehicle control system to meet the needs of the most demanding drivers. After six years of outside independent testing, meeting and defining the highest standards of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, and the Society of Automotive Engineers, EMC released DigiDrive to the world. Driving would forever be changed. Over the next two decades, EMC would continue to manufacture a host of products for the adaptive driving control industry. EMC understands that needs dictate design. We also understand that needs change. Saying this means that EMC represents over two decades of fresh thinking. The quarter of a century evolution of AVIT has produced a system that integrates both a primary and secondary control system that can be installed on virtually any motor vehicle with an automatic transmission. Now in its fourth generation, EMC has met the demands of unique drivers and is constantly adapting to meet the changing technology of today's vehicles. If form truly follows function, then the AVIT system is a true work of art. Let's take a closer look at the design and ergonomic features that make the AVIT system unrivaled in the adaptive driving control industry. For over 25 years, EMC has been designing and manufacturing the only patented Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard compliant drive-by-wire vehicle control system allowed on public roadways. To maintain compliance, it is a requirement that adaptive driving devices never change the original intent of the vehicle's manufacturer controls. AVID was designed to solve this difficult challenge. By allowing the system to integrate with vehicle's primary and secondary controls, AVID avoids compromising the operational features of the vehicle. This is proven by the driver's ability to operate controls in a normal fashion or through the AVID system. In the year 2000, when AVID was first released, EMC had the foresight to engineer and design a system that would seamlessly integrate with changing vehicle technologies. Forward thinking has eliminated would-be technological barriers, and EMC continues to deliver driving independence to our customers where others cannot. As the assisted driving population begins to age, it is likely that their strength and range of motion may decrease. Unlike other driving control systems, AVIT is designed to accommodate our customers' current driving control needs while also meeting their future demands should their physical condition change. By manufacturing a variety of different input devices, customized orthotic devices, and other accessories, wipers. AVIT is able to meet the requirements of all drivers. 
EMC uses only the highest quality components when manufacturing our driving control systems. Our quality is built in. You can see it and you can feel it. No detail has been overlooked. From the ergonomic design of our input devices, the construction of ruggedized strain relief wire harnesses, to how the injection molded components blend into the car's interior. A key component in the AVID driving control system is the chassis. The AVID chassis is not only designed to house the core components of the AVID system, but to also save valuable floor space. With its impact resistant cover and compact design, the AVID chassis serves the requirements of our customers while being minimally invasive. EMC has also designed a wide range of orthotics to fit our input devices. The AVID orthotic product line allows consumers to customize their gas, brake and steering input devices. The AVID data logger, similar to a black box on an aircraft, represents one of EMC's most innovative solutions for recording safety critical vehicle and AVID system data. The parameters for determining what data to record and the thresholds for that data were derived and inspired through extensive testing using EMC's GT1R Porsche racing team. With its seamless integration, superior quality and ergonomic design, the AVID system sets the industry standard for the world to follow. The AVID system is clearly in a class of its own when it comes to its sophisticated engineering and design. And while the ideas behind the system are complex, the use of the system is not. EMC has carefully constructed the AVID system with the end user in mind. For unique drivers, AVID is a single source solution. Operating as one integrated system consisting of primary and secondary controls, there's no need for a collection of buttons, switches or controls from other manufacturers. Primary functions are defined as the gas brake and steering functions of the vehicle. AVID provides a lever or joystick input device to control the gas brake functions and a wheel or joystick input device for steering, or a single joystick for both. The plug and play feature of the AVID system allows the input combination to be changed depending upon the client's physical requirements. As client's physical needs change, effort level and range of motion may be affected. Clients that used to simply use a lever input device to control their acceleration and braking may now require a lower level of effort by using the AVID joystick. This is done simply by unplugging the current input device and plugging in the new one. My name is Gary Jarvis and I have ALS, which is known as Lou Gehrig's. Right now I have what they call is an 8-inch steering wheel, but it's getting a little bit harder for me to do that now. So what I'm thinking of is talking to them about getting the joystick, looking into that to see if it would make it a lot easier for me. And that's the joy of being able to have this kind of equipment that they can do this. The AVID input devices also have an endless number of sensitivity and effort level settings already built in that can be tailored specifically to each client. For example, while in the field, evaluators can customize their client's training experience from another's by changing the settings from the display in a matter of seconds. The same process can be applied for evaluators that need to change the input device to properly access their client's individual physical needs. To successfully train clients, EMC provides an evaluation device that provides educators a simple and safe way to take control of the vehicle. To regain control, they simply click the inhabited takeover or ITO button to disengage the steering servo motor, grab the wheel and pull back on the joystick to apply the brake. The AVIT driving control system also takes into consideration that our consumers may not always be the primary drivers of their modified vehicle. The AVIT system allows members of your family, dealers servicing your product, or anyone else to switch from AVIT mode and then back to the original factory controls in less than 15 seconds. Simply disengage the servo motor by pulling a pin, press the alert icon to disengage the AVIT system, and the vehicle can now be operated using the original factory controls.
Secondary controls consist of operating everything other than the primaries, such as windshield wipers and turn signals. AVID secondary control options enable drivers to tailor the controls to their individual wants and needs. Of course, if the driver's requirements change, they may add more functions by simply inserting an updated compact flashcard. The AVID system applies a plug-and-play approach to secondary controls as well. Remember, secondary controls are defined as anything other than gas, brake, or steering functions. The screen displayed here is the result of an evaluation that called for limited secondary functions, option C. As the client's physical needs evolve, additional secondary functions were needed, shown here, option A. New icons will appear by simply uploading the EMC update file to the CF card and then uploading directly to the system. If a driver cannot access the AVID functions from the display, EMC has designed VIC, Voice Interactive Controls, to control virtually all secondary controls of the vehicle. VIC utilizes the latest speech recognition software Drive. and transforms Drive. a trained Confirm. customer's voice commands into vehicle functions. VIC also performs real-time verbal feedback about how right. the AVID system is operating. Left. Left. Recognized. For customers that may not require all secondaries by voice, but rather the most common eight functions such as turn signals, wipers, horn and cruise control, Digitone is the best solution. First designed in 1995, Digitone is operated with one button, eliminating the need for multiple switches. Digitone makes it easy for clients to decipher each of the eight audible sounds and when activated produces a pre-programmed command. In addition to VIC and Digitone, EMC has an unlimited amount of ways to access the vehicle's secondary controls that can be put anywhere, and even better, are already built in. You can access your wipers from a switch that plugs into the input devices, from a button mounted in close proximity to the client, or from both. Once you've picked your customized device, you can select the secondary function you'd like the device to control from the display screen. The hub of the system, the chassis, has been designed for easy accessibility if components need to be changed out. Additionally, basic updates are often needed as part of system maintenance. If an update is needed, EMC will email the file to the client's dealer. The updates can then be put on the system's compact flashcard and uploaded directly to the system. As you can see, AVIT's plug-and-play applications can create a new driving experience where it may not have been possible. Most importantly, EMC will continue to deliver products and services to our customers as their driving needs evolve. Becoming the number one and most reliable driving control system was not easy. EMC uses the most advanced technology and consistent procedures when manufacturing our products. EMC believes that your reputation is only as good as the product you make. If you have an AVIT system, you know firsthand the reliability it provides to you day in and day out. To understand what it means to truly be the only manufacturer of drive-by-wire systems in the world, we invite you to visit our facilities in Maine. EMC is certified to the ISO 9001 standard to ensure that our products never deviate from our standard of excellence. Every driving system is built to order based on specific procedures and consistent quality control checks. EMC annually contracts an outside auditing firm to ensure that our procedures are meeting and exceeding the demands of our expanding product line. In order to service over 20,000 driving control systems on our public roadways today, EMC has set up the most reliable dealer network in the world. With over 100 dealers in the continental U.S., Canada, Europe, and the Middle East, our customers can conveniently access our products and services. It is important to know that EMC does not just authorize anyone to install and service our products. Only the most qualified technicians are certified. Dealers considered by EMC must meet NMEDA QAP requirements, be a distributor for a major lift and conversion company, and go through rigorous training every two years to maintain their certification. 
There are no other adaptive driving control system manufacturers that can maintain such a vast network of installation and service centers in the world today. I've been an EMC certified technician for, I'd say, 22 years. One of the features that I like about the 8.2.0 system is how it directly interfaces to the vehicle. It's less wiring. It also has a lot of adjustability in terms of gas brake and steering where you can tailor the response to the client's needs. Just as important as our manufacturing process and network of dealers is our customer service. We believe that every time a dealer or customer calls, they should get a live voice. EMC employs a fully trained and experienced staff that can always be counted on to answer any product inquiries and assist with service needs. At EMC, we take a lot of diligence and time in making sure that uh, the consumer and the customers are in control of, of their own destiny, so to speak. It's a good feeling to, the, to make the customer happy and, and having them uh, meet their driving needs in something that they want rather than something that has typically just been mandated as the staple of the industry. Dealers of EMC products can also expect a prompt response for quotes and new sales orders. EMC stands by our industry-leading 48-hour delivery time. In order to achieve this, we maintain over $30 million of inventory at all times. For manufacturing excellence and superior customer support, our clients know that they can rely on EMC. EMC realized a long time ago that how you make people feel is just as important as what you make. Providing a safe driving control system was the most important factor in developing the AVIT system. The concept of safety is the driving force behind the engineering and design of our product. That's why the AVIT driving control system comes standard with a host of new safety innovations that go far beyond conventional thinking. Let's cover some important safety features that separate AVIT from the rest. EMC spares no expense when it comes to safety. Simply put, the AVIT system cannot fail. To achieve this, EMC has multiple levels of redundancy embedded into the system. Through the use of unconventional thinking, our engineers often envision and troubleshoot possible scenarios that may occur while driving. For instance, what happens if the gas pedal gets stuck to the floor mat, or if a client inadvertently pushes the pedal down while driving with an input device? The solution? Make the AVIT system intelligent enough to know where the position of the pedal is relative to the position of the lever or other input device. If this discrepancy is detected, AVIT will shut the engine off but still allow the driver to maneuver to safety. In 2004, EMC released AVPS, the only patented auxiliary vehicle power supply. AVPS serves as the backup to the main vehicle battery and the AVIT AUXBAT. In the unlikely event that both batteries fail, AVPS allows the client to still start and safely exit the vehicle. These are just a couple of the many safety critical conditions that EMC thought about when developing the AVIT system. After 25 years and 20 million miles, it's safe to say that we got it right. AVIT has become the leading driving system of consumers worldwide, due in part by EMC meeting and in most cases exceeding all relevant safety standards put forth by governing agencies such as the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the Society of Automotive Engineers, and the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards and Regulations. AVIT is also approved by TUV, a globally recognized testing, inspection, and certification organization, making AVIT the only patented and commercially available drive-by-wire vehicle control system in the world approved by these agencies. For drivers looking for the safest road to independence, it's AVIT or nothing. As important as the path that got us here is what lies ahead. 
EMC and its AVA technology are positioned to expand into new and exciting markets. Please take a moment to listen as founder and CEO Scott Bolduck talks about the future of EMC. For years people have asked me, is EMC where you wanted it to be? Um, have you accomplished everything you've wanted to accomplish? Um, I think the answer to that question is unequivocally yes. But understanding that it's a continuing journey. As an engineer, if you can change the quality of people's lives, I believe that's the ultimate goal. In 2012, EMC will be releasing a marine version whereby the controls of the normal bow will be replaced and the bow controls are operable by both people with severe disabilities as well as a 50th percentile person. Another area that Avit uh, has extreme growth potential is in the armed services. The Department of Defense came to us years ago. That is developing now into robotic types of vehicles, i.e. vehicles that do not have humans in them but can either operate on their own and or monitored by a human. And that will be involving tens of thousands of units. And we're very proud of that, to be able to serve in the Arab forces as well as the disabled community. And I believe that that's far enough into the future for me anyway, and it keeps me busy. I feel that EMC has accomplished everything it set out to accomplish, and there's more to come. Personally, it has been the most fulfilling career, I believe, that anybody could ask for. So for that, I am very thankful, and uh, I look forward to the future.